Um, uh, I just finished doing the Black Panther review video that I'm gonna upload also with this video. Probably I'm gonna publish it before the Black Panther video and it's not gonna be monetized out of respect for the victims of what happened in Parkland, Florida. So if you live under a rock because you don't watch the news, which I've learned a lot of people that I know don't watch the news, there was a school shooting in Florida, 17 students were killed and some teachers were killed because of this horrible person that just wanted to kill. He, he said in, a, in the comments of a YouTube video that he was gonna go shoot a school and said, I'm gonna be a professional school shooter. And uh, yeah, it's just... I don't get why people do that. Shh. Like, he probably got bullied and made fun of. And he was a weird kid. And I saw the Instagram post that he, he posted with guns and arms. And it's just... Nobody wanted to contact the police. Like, I don't get why people wouldn't do that. And this happened. He went to his old high school that he got expelled and literally did a mass shooting and killed people and i saw some videos of the shooting it's horrible like people make stats and they say it's a number of people but remember that those numbers are kids they were alive and they're dead and that shows that you can die like you don't know when your life's gonna end and it's a problem because of gun control in the United States I'm not from America I'm well I am from North America I'm a Canadian but I'm not from the States I'm not from the United States and gun control in, in Canada is good like it's not like in the US which in Florida an 18 year old can buy a machine gun and a pistol but I saw some articles say that you, you have to be 21 to get an, a handgun and you 18 to have a machine gun which I would be surprised it's true but I think it's at 18 you can buy any gun you want and this guy has the same age as me bought a machine gun just like that like it's like when you go buy a toy or some chips at a at like a pharmacy or drugstore it's like oh, I'm gonna buy some you can buy guns like if it was a toy or like clothes like it's insane like Donald Trump blamed this on mental illness sure he had mental problems but Mr. Donald Trump signed a paper saying that mental people with mental problems can buy guns. Like, it's why? And it's just crazy that they're probably not going to do anything about it. People are like, we need to do something about gun control. We need to do something about it. I'm telling you. With the government that the United States have, nothing is going to happen. Probably something could happen, but in years or in a long time. But they won't do anything. Like, that's how they work. They say, we're working on it, we're working on it. But if you're working on it, why not just do it now? And we're in February 2018 only the second month of the year and there's 18 shootings in this United States like what is wrong with your country like to have this many shootings you need to do something about gun control you say that guns don't kill people it's people that kill people yes people kill people they can kill with knives and other weapons but 
they kill people with guns and they use guns and you can buy guns easily and it's just I, I, I can't imagine what the students and the families are going through right now the, the ones that lost their kids in this and I saw videos and I was shocked not traumatized because I'm watching it from my phone but if I was there I would be traumatized like I saw videos you hear gunshots pop 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 the first video I heard was two gunshots and another one was multiple gunshots tack 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 nonstop and I saw another video of kids putting their hands up with the FBI like that coming into the classes to identify a shooter and I saw another video of a laptop with bullets in it and I saw a girl laying on the floor with blood everywhere next to her face and it's pretty horrible to look at but I wasn't traumatized because I was watching it from this from a screen like that I wasn't there so it didn't affect me like crazy in the head but if I were if I was there I don't know what I would do I don't know how I would react I've never experienced it so I don't know how they feel like it's horrible and I'm gonna end I don't want this to be a, a really long video it's just I want to say my opinion about what happened and this will not be monetized because I'm not a scumbag who's gonna try to make money out of horrible events terrorist attack he's not a Muslim or someone from another country like to be considered a terrorist you need to do something that terrorizes people and this kid this guy that has my age terrorized he may he brought terror into this school and that's what a terrorist does does it scares people it does bad things it terrorizes people so I don't think people from the government of the United States are watching this but if they did or someone that works there just do something with your gun control like you're you're so stupid like people shouldn't buy guns like people shouldn't have the ability to buy guns easily you need to have a permit you need to have a certain age just do something about it Australia like did something about gun control after a mass shooting I think in 1996 and there hasn't been a mass shooting in Australia for a long time that's what I saw but I don't know if there was another one but yeah just do something about your gun control and uh, I promise there will be less shootings if you fix that problem and I'm not gonna say like like and subscribe because that's wrong but just thank you for watching this video and uh, I just hope I hope that they do something about it.